I'm Julie Gooley and you're watching BAM TV. And I'm here with the Cold Blue Rebels. We're here at Bar Sinister in Hollywood for the release of their debut album, Blood, Guts, and Rock and Roll from Core High Records. Alright, so how are you guys doing tonight? Like, you're totally like, stoked for the release of your album. How stoked are we? Dude, I'm really stoked. I mean, it's been a long time coming. We put a lot of work into it and, um, uh, to hold that CD in your hand is like, it's like the payday, you know? Definitely. We've been a band a year now, and I almost feel like I'm not dead anymore. Like, the record's been out. I feel alive again. So would you guys be so kind to introduce yourselves to the fans of BAM TV? Spaz Drastic, drums. Mickey Finn, vocals, and harmonica. Joe Normal, Billy Guitar. Danny Dangerous. Nice. <laughs> How would you explain your sound? Rock and roll, of course, you know. Uh, it, it, this band combines all of our favorite things, which is rockabilly, punk rock, and horror. We like to say psycho heavy on the Billy. Spookabilly. You guys, the music is about fucking the dead, right? Not much. Some. <laughs> Some. Okay. So, any dead celebrity you guys would like to meet, like marry, or fuck? I, I mean, you know, Betty Page. Of course. You know. I was gonna say Marilyn first, but I'd like to be Gene Vincent. Oh I wanna fuck Gene Vincent. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what think Wormhole Wanda? Wormhole Wanda, our favorite hoe. Favorite dead hoe. She's getting pretty famous. Uh, for me, I think it'd be a cross between uh, a silent film star called Louise Brooks or uh, Vampire. Yeah. Any favorite war movies or characters? I'm more into like Clint Eastwood movies, old westerns. I like the monsters. Yeah, we're big monster fans. In fact, you know what? We're looking at Homegirl here. It's like, I'm, like oh. I'm starting to think that I got found my companion here. She's got the monsters. I got the monsters. Look at this. I got pointy eyebrows. She's got pointy eyebrows. I don't know. We're already best friends. I think it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Was meant to be. Any tour, tour plans? Yeah, we're going out March 17th with the Rockets. We're doing uh, the Pacific Northwest. So and we're going up through the Bay Area and Oregon and Seattle. And then, uh, you know, hopefully this year we're going to get all over the U.S. So. Are there any, like, specific cities or countries you, or anything you guys would yeah, like to play in? we want to go to Europe. Europe big and Japan. Time. Europe. Yeah, and and Japan. We want to go to get over to Germany big time. So, but this year, you know, if we can conquer, you know, the rest of the U.S. and the East Coast, um, you know, I'll be happy if we can get over to Europe and, and Germany, uh, I mean, and uh, Japan. That was just a beautiful thing, you know. You know, we're trying to think realistically though, it's day to day, we just, you know, don't, we try to get achievable goals, so. And we're just thankful, you know, we're thankful that we've gotten the support and had the success that we've had in the last year. It's happened really fast for us, and, and if it keeps coming, we're ready, man. We're ready to just tour, and spend the next year on the road, you know, so. Right, you know, with, with Facebook and, 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 well, not so much MySpace anymore, but with Facebook, you know, it, it's real easy to stay in personal, like, contact with people that are in you. And all around the world. Yeah, get, all around the world. We get friend so requests from everywhere, all yeah. around the world. And, and, and it's really neat. And somebody like pops on there and say, hey, I, they're like, I love the album. But I can't help it. I got, I got to get on there and thank them personally. You know, it's like, it's so neat to be able to have that kind of closeness with the people that are into your band. And you know what? That That's, that, that's not something that you can buy. I mean, that, you know, I appreciate, and I'm sure these guys too, that more than anything. Because we're nowhere, people aren't digging us. Yeah. You guys came from <laughs> various amounts of different bands. Um, what made you guys come together and you know decide to be Cold Blue Rebels? Our love of the same music, you know. We're yeah. into the 50s rock and roll and psychobilly and rockabilly. And stuff. Yeah, we need to do this. <laughs> Nobody's doing it the way we do it. It's kind of like, you know, the psychobilly scene seemed to be really big a few years ago, and it's kind of dying down a little now, but it seemed like my I, I good buddy Mickey here just so was like going to shows, I was going to shows, everybody, he was in a Billy band, and it was just kind of like, here we are, these rockers, you know, and we just found ourselves submerged in the scene with this energy. He talks about it. I mean, it's like... I don't know, I think the whole psychobilly scene is ready to explode, but, it, you know, they, they need one band to push it over the edge, I mean, I mean, we all love, you know, bands like Necromantics and Madsen, and 
Earthquakes and Battlefield and you know, all these bands that were doing it for years. But, um, you know, I really think the scene could break through and be huge. And I'd love to be that band that puts it on the map and brings it to, you know, brings it to more people. I'm sure every, guess, they'd love to be that band, too. Every, it's going to take one band, and then they go back and they discover all the history. And it's not even that second wave of Metal Argo style. It could be back to, like, the Shars, you know, all the old... You know, started it all, and you know, obviously the Meteors are the first band to me. Yeah. So, uh, well, you know, it's kind of like I noticed. You know, I, I noticed like the scene breaking up in smaller groups, and you know, you have the psychobilly kids over here, and the punk rock kids over here, and then you have the little metal kids over here, and then there's just all these melting little groups. pots. And, yeah. and what we want to do is melt it all back together yeah. and pull everybody back in to where it's like one big scene of a bunch of crazy. Because that's it. It's like I said, you know, combine everything. We all love punk rock. We all love rockabilly and metal, rock and metal hard rock. And, you know what I mean? It's like music makes the world go round. You know, it's no, it's no big secret. We're not a traditional band. You know, we don't claim to be. But uh, we, you know, we definitely show our roots, and that's the most important thing of anybody is to stay true. That's yeah. honest. You guys definitely put a show on out there. So yeah, like explain that. to me. Yeah, we love it. The fans love it. Yeah. So. How did you guys come up with the idea to do that? Just like, fuck it, I'm gonna get out there. I mean, like, yeah, you know, influences, you know, more like, you know, just, you know, go to go to a Gore concert, go to an Alice Cooper concert, you know. Yeah. So many bands, it's about dancing. You know? We want to fucking rock, man. We want to be like fucking in a pit in front, you know. It's like we want to entertain them. What you've done, and a lot of times when we play with higher end bands that we played with, we play, you know, like we did some shows with Coffee Cats and Creep Show, Creep Shows. We played with Quakes. We played with, you know, a lot of bands. And it just was like you know, you're playing with a higher energy band, you see a bit going and stuff. It just really, you just start coming up with new stuff, and it just, it's all good playing. And, and I just think, you know, with with our whole shtick, you know what I mean? Which which it is, we have fun with it. We love horror movies. And they're they're fun to get grossed out by and laugh at, and that's what we want to do. We want to gross people out and make them laugh and sing about shit. They're like, what fucking a dead prostitute? It's, like, it's just like it's funny, you know. What I mean? Go see the Toxic Adventure. There. <laughs> we, we decided to incorporate dancers on the stage, and so we have our zombie go-go dancers, and you know we kind of rotate them out. Tonight we've got all four dancers going, and uh, they've got costume changes and you know little skits they do that pertain to the songs and whatnot. And I just, you know, have great songs, look fucking badass, and put on a great show, and you get your five dollars worth, your ten dollars worth, you know. We need to get uh, her on our dance stage. I don't know. Oh, I'm so up for it. Can we go for five? Can we go for five? Five? So, last and final question. Any dearly departed words for the viewers out there of Bam TV? Yeah. Um. <laughs> No. <laughs> Actually, no. <laughs> come to come to see Kobe Rebels, you won't be disappointed. That's all I can say. It's a fucking rock and roll, man. What's your phone <laughs> That was a good one. We're the Kobe Rebels. Hey guys, we're here with the zombie dancers from Cold Blue Rebels. You're watching BAM TV!